the uses of the natural herbs. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have taken place to divert us away from this path. Well, something did happen. The healer was educated. The healer cannot be educated but from one source, Mother Nature, Pachamama. I should call it certain, certain levels and certain cultures. Pachamama could only be responsible for educating us in the art of healing, no other entity or philosophy, because all the philosophies have failed. Like for instance, the philosophy of using comfrey to straighten your bones only adds starch and acid to our system and compound that particular problem. The other is that I could drink wheatgrass juice, carrot juice, beets juice, and receive from that nutrition. That is impossible. Why? Because they're all artificial. Wheatgrass juice contain sugar and starch. Two of the greatest enemies of the human body. But our brothers and our sisters in New York definitely recommend wheatgrass juice with pride. What do you mean? This is a chlorophyll. I agree with the position of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is one of the most effective and quickest way to heal the human body. But the chlorophyll would have to come from a natural base, and wheat is not a natural product of life. So therefore, the end product of wheat would necessarily be an acid one, and that is the subject, acidity versus alkalinity. Acidity has but one purpose. Acidity enters the human body to destroy cells, to cause cell erosion. Alkalinity, on the contrary, alkalinity comes to support life and to maintain electricity. So, a hybrid plant opposed to a natural plant, and we would use two. We will use the Kalawala, which comes from this part of the world. It's a natural plant, it's a spore plant. The molecular structure is complete, deeming it electrical. Not so for comfrey, golden seal and the rest. They are hybrid, meaning that they were made in a laboratory. Being made in a laboratory, naturally, it has to fall short because to titrate two things in a laboratory, you need a chemical. In other words, if you have to bring two plants together that ordinary would not have joined each other's true chemical affinity, forced together is what makes things hybrid. You have to use a chemical to bind them. If man could make an artificial plant to equal in production, to equal in value as that which is natural, then man says that he is God. Impossible. The human body is a natural one. The cells are electrical. The human body shows the ability to move to produce motion, and there is nothing on the planet that produces motion that is not electrical. There must be necessarily the presence of electricity. A hybrid plant is non-electrical. Why? Because a man made it. If man could make an electric plant, then he's saying he's God. He could make something to complement the human body. That is impossible. We don't even want to go there. So we see now that the reason why we have failed to complement 
simply because we were not prepared for the journey. As for myself, I didn't prepare myself for the journey. I was prepared. And why do I say that? Because I had listened and read many, many, many books from Ivan Kerkikov, the Russian, Alma Hutchins, the Canadian, to Mr. Christopher, the American, Jetro Claus, the American, and many, many, Jeronimo Rodriguez from Brazil. He wrote a book, Las Plantas Curan, Plant Cure. I have read many books, Spanish and English. And out of those books, healing is absent. So now, it was necessary for the Usha Research Institute to take the position of common sense. That if Hippocrates cured, Galen cured, then we should cure. In our research, we found that there it was. Our brothers and sisters were not aware that natural plants are electrical. They do not live to the process of photosynthesis. Theirs is photovoltaic, which deems it electrical. Why should it be electrical? It should be electrical. If the human body is electrical, then the nourishment should also be electrical. But we find today that our educators, our religious leaders, our leaders and followers indulges in the consumption of acid substance. Then seeking this thing we call peace. No. Peace could only be attained when one is married to the cosmic procession. And you show that you have divorced yourself from it when you drink carrot juice, when you eat carrot cake, when you eat beans. All of the beans that are made were made in England by Menlo. He was a Jesuit priest. And about the carrot, well, Nova showed us that they were made in Holland. And they were made by joining the Queen Anne lace, which is known as the yarrow, and the wild yam to make the carrot. Here we find our leaders and healers recommending to us that we eat carrot cake and drink carrot juice, eat bean pies. Could you imagine? Sure we could imagine. Remember what we said. We have been divorced from that which is natural and placed in that which is unnatural. That makes it extremely difficult. So as the Usha Research Institute presents its position, we are well aware that the limitation that exists among our people is so vast that we have to be careful in selecting speeches of various kinds, presentations of, on the other hand, of all kinds of presentation. We have to show examples. Examples that I find to be unnecessary, probably for me, because I suppose that I was given the privilege to at least listen. If I had not listened, I would not be able to offer that which we offer. I have to listen. And in listening, I am talking about not only an individual mouth, but Mother Nature. Mother Nature talks the loudest. I had to listen. And in listening, we saw all of the above. So the Usha research decided to put compounds together that would definitely hit the core of this thing we call disease. We just didn't want to make products that we read in other books and give that to you, making recommendation using peppermint. And we know at the, at the Usha research that when someone uses peppermint, it is only because this they have not done the research themselves. They are relying on the research of others. That is the danger.